What's going on everyone? We've got the first reactions to Marvel's Black Panther opening February 16th. So tonight was the world premiere and a bunch of reporters are coming out of the LA screening and talking about their thoughts on the film. So I've compiled several social media reactions to Black Panther. Obviously they are spoiler free but they do mention several things specifically so you can get a gauge on what they feel about the movie without getting spoiled about specific events. So here we go. Gregory Elwood of the playlist.net says Black Panther is crazy impressive. A little slow at first, but fantastic world building. Great performances. Most standalone Marvel movie since the first Guardians. More a drama than an action movie, which is a good thing. Next up we have Eric Davis of Fandango who says Black Panther is exceptional. The James Bond of the MCU. You've seen nothing like this in a superhero movie. It's bold, beautiful, and intense, but there's a depth and spiritualness that is unlike anything Marvel has ever done, which you can definitely tell by all of the trailers thus far and marketing materials. It definitely does feel a bit James Bond and sort of spy elements in there, political thriller, with also a spiritualness that we can see, obviously, that comes across from Wakanda. Next up we have Jen Yamato of the LA Times who says Black Panther is incredible, kinetic, purposeful, a superhero movie about why representation and identity matters, and how tragic it is when those things are denied to people. The first MCU movie about something real, and Michael B. Jordan's Killmonger had me weeping, and he's the villain. Next up we have Mike Ryan of Uproxx who says Black Panther is not screwing around. By far the most political Marvel chapter to the point I had to remind myself this is a Marvel movie. Black Panther is just a movie with a lot to say and he once again praises Michael B. Jordan's performance in the film. Next, we've got editor-in-chief of Collider, Steve Weintraub, who says, Marvel does it again with Black Panther. Very impressed with the story and filmmaking. Michael B. Jordan absolutely kills it as the villain and is the best one since Loki. Also, Danae Guerrera kicks ass and I loved every second of it. Going to make serious money. Following up with that, we have the Geeks of Color account who said, Black Panther is the best MCU movie ever. I was blown away from start to finish, and I'm not even being biased. This was by far the best Marvel movie to date. Thank you, Ryan Coogler. Following that, we've got Brian Truitt of USA Today who says, Black Panther is simply awesome, extremely bold, and as touching as it is thrilling. It boasts Game of Thrones style intrigue, crazy innovative action, and a deep bench of memorable characters. Top five all-time Marvel movie easy. Finally, we've got Peter Serretta of Slash Film, who says Black Panther looks, feels, and sounds unlike any Marvel film to date. A visual feast. Wakanda is amazingly realized. The antagonist actually has an arc with emotional motivations. Marvel's most political movie. So good. So it definitely feels like this is a movie that's up there, possibly even with Captain America the Winter Soldier, in terms of it being a Marvel movie but not really feeling like one, feeling like it's something of a different genre genre like a political thriller or a James Bond sort of action film with very deep drama to it which I actually enjoy and there are other reactions that I didn't post in this video but they actually said that the film does have humor but for the most part it plays it pretty straight which I'm actually glad about that because it seems like the subject matter is dealing with real world political events and themes and I really wanted them to kind of ground the narrative and make it much more serious like they did with the Winter Soldier. So overall my personal thoughts on those reactions gets me very excited. I can't wait to see the movie now. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this film kind of can introduce and innovate while still being part of this Marvel saga. But drop your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you guys think of these first reactions? And are you excited even more now to see Black Panther when it opens in just a couple weeks? And for more updates on everything in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, be sure to subscribe to Hybrid Network. Thank you guys again for checking this video out. If you want to get even more updates from us, check out our social media platforms, our website for news and editorials, and if you want to see our content improve and help us out, donate to us on our Patreon and you can get exclusive rewards.